Hello everyone, welcome. Today we will be taking a look at some Windows 3.1 games. These are some of the first games I remember playing as a kid. As a kid, these games were addictive, but how have they held up after more than 20 years? We'll find out. The first game is Jezball. It came in the first Windows Entertainment Pack, which was a collection of software meant to help people learn to use the mouse. The first time I played this game was on a Sony Vio, and I remember distinctly how I was hooked on this simple game and played it for hours at my friend's place. The rules are pretty simple. You partition the board by clicking on the mouse inside the board. Then two trails begin from where your cursor is, and go towards the edge of the board. If they make it to the edge without being hit by any balls, then the trail becomes final. Otherwise, the trail is undone. When the partition doesn't have any balls in it, it disappears. The goal is to eliminate at least 75% of the board. The challenge is that the balls move linearly and bounce off the walls. With each new level, you get more balls. The good thing is that you also get lives or chances to mess up without having to start all over. As you can see, it gets pretty challenging pretty fast, having to avoid all the balls bouncing around. I remember this game having sound, but it could be because this laptop doesn't have any sound card that there's no sound. But don't worry, I have background music going. It's getting too hard, I think I'm not going to be able to win this round. In terms of strategy, I'm trying to get as many balls into as tightly an enclosed area as I can. It's pretty challenging. But if I can succeed at doing that, then it makes life easier later on. Another good strategy is to split the balls up so you're only dealing with one ball which is a lot easier than dealing with multiple balls. Well this was fun, still very addictive. I think I like it more than Pong. I could keep playing it but we need to move on. This next game came in the second Windows Entertainment Pack, and it's a puzzle game called Pipe Dream. I was introduced to this game along with the next two by a friend who was into old school games. Basically you try to lay down pipes before the liquid flows to it. The current pipe you're laying down is at the bottom left, and the next pipes are stacked up along the left in a queue. The minimum number of pipes the liquid needs to fill are at the top right. One lifesaver is that you can click on the tile you've already laid a pipe in to replace it with the current pipe you're laying down as long as it's still empty. This helps immensely. This game is really fun, but I wish I had a mouse to use. Playing this game using the touch point on this laptop is really hard. This game actually teaches a really good lesson about planning. You don't get what you need when you need it, but you do get everything you need eventually. It's about planning and laying things out in a way where you can use what you need when you need it. I think this is a really deep lesson for how to be successful in life.
I've run out of room, but I've already exceeded the number of pipes I need to lay down, so I'll just let it run its course. Ah, I misclicked. I think I'll come back and try again so I can beat this game, but for now, we'll move on to the next one. This game came in the third Windows Entertainment Pack, and it's a really chill game, until the end. It's called Ski Free, and you just ski around. I remember really liking this game when I played it on my friend's computer. You just use the mouse to ski in various directions, however you can't go up. There's various objectives you can try to accomplish or just go freestyle. It's also really hard using this touch point to play this game. There's bumps that let you jump into the air. There's also obstacles that you try to avoid, but if you run into them you say ouch and get up again. It's a pretty goofy game. and then you get eaten in the end. It's inevitable. Like life. Alright, the next game came in the fourth and final Windows Entertainment Pack. It is a puzzle game called Chips Challenge. And for this game, you use your keyboard direction keys to tell your guy to go around. The objective is to gather all the ICs to get past the socket to get to the next level. There's a lot of items you pick up, like keys, boots, etc that give you abilities to navigate on various types of terrain. Also, don't touch the monsters or the fire. What's nice about this game is that you get a code you can enter to jump to that level. This helps if you ever need to take a break. I could keep going, but now it's time to introduce the first computer game I ever played as a kid. It's called Bang Bang, and I remember playing it on my dad's old 386 computer. This was from a time when I thought computers were so cool and mysterious. Anyways, there's two cannons and you try to shoot each other. You adjust your velocity and angle, and with the help of gravity and the wind, you hit the other player. You can also blow up any mountain standing in your way. This simple game taught me my first physics lesson. Well, this just about wraps up some of the earliest computer games I ever played. These are classic games that you can only play on Windows 3.1. Despite being so old and so simple, these games are still very addictive and fun to play. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it entertaining or nostalgic if you played these games before. I'll see you next time.